What's up everyone? I just wanted to make a little video because I just completed my first custom life and I'm so proud of her. Um, obviously this is her. And I just wanted to, I was going to do like a whole um, video while I was making her but I just, I don't know didn't get around to it so I'm gonna talk about some of the products I used um and what worked for me and what I didn't like and stuff like that um but I just love her and she took a long time to make and um yeah so I'm just gonna talk about what I did so first of all I have all these braids of sandpaper um and I already had these I think I got them on Amazon, but, um, they, the pack I have ranges up to 1500, um, the lowest grade I used was a 400, and that's actually what I used to sculpt her, and, um, a lot of people use, like, these files, files like this, um, I did not like these at all. I used them a little bit, but, um, and it might just be that these are not, like, very high quality, so, um, I'm not discounting files altogether, but these just weren't great, and I kind of preferred using a 400, uh, grade sandpaper instead. And so then when I sanded, gradually I went up to higher grade the highest grade was 1500 and I just took a little square off for each grade um so you really don't have to use a lot but um yeah because of her skin tone I'd heard before that it has um like scratches easily um I did find that to be true but then I just um I washed the face plate twice with uh, dish soap, and um, and I should have used these too. Like they would have, these fan brushes would have come in really handy, but um, I didn't use them. Um, but I would still recommend them. But um, after that, I sprayed her with Mr. Super Clear twice, and that kind of evened out. Even though you could still kind of see the scratches, it, it evened out the surface. And then um, I loved these. It was my first time using soft chalk pastels. And that's what I used to kind of make her like coloring, I guess. So that was the base after this Mr. Super Clear. And I focus on like these colors. And then I also used uh, a lot of reds. So these and these. This brand is called Violetta. And um, after that I did another layer of Mr. Super Clear. I think I just applied the, the pastels with my fingers, if I recall correctly. Um, had a lot of paint brushes as well that I don't have with me right now. Oh, and I got this, um, shoot. This, uh, screwdriver set from the dollar store. It was like $2, and there was one that I used. Let me find it. I think it was this one. This little, uh, I'll show you what it says. This is what I used to open her faceplate with the screws on there. And the rest didn't really fit. But um, I loved these watercolor pencils as well. This is my first time using those. And there are so many colors. I just, um, I didn't really know what I was doing with those at first. So um, I just was drawing freckles and like things like that and eyebrows and then I used a brush and just kind of went over it with like a wet brush. And 
that does look cool, but you can also just leave it dry and it, um, it's kind of a different, like sharper effect. Um, what else did I use? Oh, and I used the watercolors on the back. I'll show you what I did. So I've got my signature number one. She's got a game of tic-tac-toe. Um, a whale tail in the moonlight. Because I carved her on the beach a little bit. And um, I still have some work to do on her with the... Obviously the strings, I'm going to cut some of them. But um, I couldn't decide which one of these strands I wanted. One is matte and one is not. So uh, I'm probably going to reduce the total number of these beads to like um, 10. So I'll probably take away one strand and move like half of these to the other. And I also just got some uh, new beads that I'll probably add that are a little bit smaller. So there won't be as many of these on her, but um, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm doing there. Um, and then, ooh, oh wait, where is that? This is a glue stick that I use to take out her uh, factory eyes. And there are lots of tutorials on how to do that, but I just kind of lit the, the glue stick. You put it directly on her eye and don't twist, because I was twisting and that wasn't working. You just kind of, you kind of like just push it in and then wait like a minute and then pull it out. And it's a uh, lot sim uh, simpler that way. Um, these are the strings I got from BB Blythe or BB Dolls on Etsy. And um, you do have to um, get larger uh, hold beads with these, but I think it lasts longer than if you use like a one millimeter. So you're gonna wanna look for like, I was looking for two millimeter beads and I hopefully that'll be enough. I think it should be just by the looks of it. But um, let's see what else. Um, these are about half of the acrylic paints I had. I used a lot of them um, just for like painting her lips and um, I lined around her eyes and I painted her eyelids and uh, her eyebrows. Um, I don't know how I feel about that little bit of gold on her eyebrows right now. I might take it off with cover it with more ac acrylic paint but um yeah I also gave her highlights and lowlights and a haircut so the low lights were like a darkened violet. I think I used these two colors, raw umber and violet. And let me see if I have the name of this. Um, Wise Brand. Um, w e i s b r a n d t. That's the name of this brand. But um, mix that with black and then painted that through her hair and gave her low lights and then for the highlights I used this like a bright orange and sometimes a little bit of this and I was using gold for the highlights but I really didn't like the look of it on her um so yeah but um let's see what else can I say um Oh, I guess I should show you her eyes. Um, I just decided to use, I didn't really want to throw away or like just keep the, the chips that she had. So I tried to just repaint them. Those that she has in, I think are her brown factory eyes. And, oh, and another problem I ran into that I guess a lot of, like, if you customize Blyce, you'll notice this, but, like, the, I don't like this thing, and I noticed a lot of people try to cover it up with, like, bangs or, 
but yeah, I really don't like that, and I see why people give them bangs a lot and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, so that's why she has those bangs. I think they're kind of cute, but anyway. Um, I'm gonna show you, so, like, I like these matte eyes. I personally, like, think they're, they're cool. These are probably, like, my third favorite eyes. I'm gonna show you the rest of hers. Um, sorry, this is going to be hard to do with one hand. Let me see if I can prop up the camera here. Apologies. Um... Sorry, I'm gonna say I'm disorganized as usual. And when I use this uh, glue, it's really helpful. Uh, I use it for the strings. Um, and I didn't understand how her mech worked at first with the two strings, so um, I wasn't doing it right and I kept thinking there was a problem, but it's just, I'll show you how it works. So, you close your eyes with one, open them with the other. The same one that closes them also changes them. So, oh no, her strings don't wanna. Sorry, her strings are all tangled from the, the beads that I attached on a string. These are my favorite eyes. They're just like black and I mixed a little bit of um, red shock pastel in with them. She's so cute. The next one. These are my second favorite ones. Um, I had to do a little damage control on this one. I might still do some more because I got like a smear of um, brown paint on there, but um, I would definitely recommend, and it's probably obvious to most people, taking out the eyes if you, um, if you need to and just painting them on their own, because I did this when she was fully assembled. Not the whole eye, but I tried to make that fix when she was fully assembled. And I also did her hair when she was fully assembled, and I wouldn't recommend that because that gets her, um, the back of her head wet and I had to uh, go over it again but yeah um these are my second favorite eyes she's so cute and next one Oh yeah, these are my least favorite ones. Um, they were from a pack on AliExpress and I just don't want my eyes to look like everybody else's. Um, so I made a few modifications. I like rimmed them in a darker color. Like I think it is black that I rimmed them in and then um, just kind of watercolored them a little bit, but I still don't really like these that much. I might change them but yeah that's my little girl and um my first fly uh I got these eyelashes from BB dolls and I trimmed them a little bit it was just a single set and with these factory dolls you kind of have to pull hard to get their eyes to go but, um, I just did her hair yesterday and that was like the last thing that I needed to do. Obviously, I need to finish the beads when I get them. And then that will be the end. I'll have her all ready and 
Uh, I made her a little felt, like, stuffed cat. And probably gonna get, like, cute little outfits for her. I've seen a lot of cool ones on Etsy, so. Yeah, that's uh, all I have to talk about today. And if I had to say, like, what was hardest, I would say the lips were the hardest part. Like, this area was hardest to carve, and then, um, the painting was fun. Everything else was really fun, but, um, the carving was kind of nerve-wracking because I was afraid that I would take off too much. I don't have a name for her yet. Um, let me know of any suggestions or, um anything like that. I'm kind of wondering if I took off too much of her hair because she had so much before. It was just so thick that it looked like it was weighing her down and I just felt bad for her. So, um, this is what she has now, these little pigtails. And yeah, she's getting ready for school and I kind of noticed as I was looking at her that like she kind of has like a, a good girl look. Like she she looked like she'd be like, oh, well, I gotta ask my parents if I can go to the dance, guys, and stuff like that, so I thought that was funny, but anyway, um, let me know what you think of her, I'm super proud of her, and, uh, I don't know if I'm going to order another Blythe from AliExpress and do a new one, but it was definitely a fun process and I I would love to do that again so yeah thanks for watching and have a good day